So the compiler says that uh, uh, an enum switch case label must be unqualified name of enumeration. So I, apparently I need to get rid of this, right? That's all I need. And of course, I'm going to have a couple of uh, these. Um, and um, uh, this will be another one is a Sunday. So in this um, in this situation, I'm going to say time slot time slot uh, add right uh, add uh, and I'm going to say new uh, new uh, weekend right new weekend new weekend. And again, this uh, there's there's lots of things that needs to be given here, and uh, we can create the whole user interface on top of everything. Perhaps this would require there's there's so many different parameters with like employees and and uh, uh, start and end times and and uh, you know, all this variety. Most likely, I need some kind of graphical user interface front end to everything because uh, uh, it would be even uh, difficult to implement this on the, as a console application, right? Uh, but anyway, I'm going to say a new weekend, and of course, um, so right now, just for the sake of demo, I will be hard coding some of the parameters. Um, so um, since I figured out that my day a week is uh, is a weekend, I'm creating new weekend. And uh, for the weekend, I need to add uh, uh, start hour, end hour, and employee ID. OK, so let me say that the, maybe they work from, uh, from 10, right? And I can annotate over here that this, this, this means 10 AM, right? Uh, through uh, 17, uh, right, which is like uh, like 5 p.m. right here, right, 17th hour, right. So this is from two, and I also need uh, to provide an employee ID, right. So uh, clearly, an employee ID needs to be uh, 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 perhaps given to the time slot so most likely employee ID needs to be another parameter over here just even in a demo application we need something like this right so I will just simply pass the employee ID to uh, to whatever I, I was given so over here I'll I'll uh, I'll add the employee IDs which will be 101 uh, 102 uh, 203, uh, 204, something like that. So supposedly these are uh, existing employee IDs, right? So this is just a demo, so I can get away with hard codings like that. But this demonstrates the idea that the work schedule needs basically the, the day of week and then the employee ID. All right, so time slot add new weekend. Uh, I'm missing a semicolon. My, my 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 constant little error, right? And uh, in every other case, right? In all default cases, I am going to use uh, the same time slot add, but uh, but add the weekday this time, right? So I'll just resize so that you can see what what I do. Weekday, that's the way. Uh, it works, um, and of course, uh, in every switch statement, the normal uh, way of life is to make sure that you you use breaks uh, at the end of your cases. And here we have multiple cases to handle with the weekend, but break still is is absolutely must for appropriate, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, style. It's just totally required. All right, so otherwise it's going to be falling through. And you can see that the default doesn't have to be at the end. You can use default uh, above Saturday and Sunday. That's fine. All right, um, so moving on. Uh, moving on, so this is my add time slot. Uh, I can, or I may be even able to compile it now. Right, so with these uh, updates. So it seems to be uh, building just fine, and I can, I can run this application. So let's do, um, 
let's finish some testing or finishing for finishing uh, it by adding some uh, testing so just say four and to make it more interesting let's add this 101 employee ID a couple of times right once on Monday and once on Saturday right so we're gonna say four Uh, for um, uh, time slot, right? Time slot, slot in this. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I I was thinking that I'm looking at my work schedule. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Take this out. Go to the work schedule, right? We need to. Uh, we need to add an operation over here, which is going to be, um, in fact, we already have it. I'm sorry, we already added it. Compute pay, right? So what we're going to do over here is that we're going to say compute pay, but right here we're just going to have this uh, a loop uh, through time slot list, right? Just uh, for every slot on the list basically we say that what we want to do is uh, we want to say if right if slot slot uh, and uh, apparently we need uh, a getter for an employee ID I think right because um, in the time slot right here our our um, interface is that we do uh, uh, we can we can we can provide employee ID right so I'm just going to say add or insert code right in here and this will be a getter for employee ID right just add the getter for employee ID and I typically move my getters to the bottom of my uh, of my uh, uh, classes so get employee ID that's kind of trivial right uh, so we're gonna say if slot get employee ID uh, equals this employee ID and uh, then if that's the case then Uh, we need some sort of uh, double uh, pay equals uh, 0, 0.0 to begin with and we're gonna say pay uh, plus equals uh, uh, this slot right this specific slot and we'll already have a method that does the computation compute pay right slot compute pay and uh, the pay rate is uh, let's say that we are gonna give them uh, th uh, this is a double right like uh, 30 uh, 30 bucks an hour something like that right all right compute pay for this specific rate right so this is uh, since we we don't have a good uh, uh, support for from employee class uh, right here I'm just going to add an inline comment that says uh, hourly rate right otherwise these constants become quickly unreadable right so I just need to remind myself that what I'm trying to do here is just basically use some kind of hourly rate and do the computation all right uh, so uh, over here there will be employee ID that we're going to use and of course right here we're just going to uh, return the pay right so compute pay is an abstract method at the time slot level however uh, the weekend and the weekday provide compute pay and do multiplication by whatever whatever additional uh, you know factor we add there so that should work and so we can say then um, uh, schedule right we can call the schedule the schedule and we say uh, compute pay and pass employee ID 101 uh, right here 
and this will be re returning a double so we can say system dot out dot print say uh, employee ID uh, 101 uh, 101 and then the pay rate uh, will say uh, weekly pay uh, is and uh, add this uh, compute pay thing right so we're just gonna say uh, <coughs> print this right and uh, plus this something like that so, uh, I mean, uh, I do absolutely hate those uh, hard-coded values here, but I, I need to get started with something, right? Because there's, there's a surprising amount of code to write, but uh, it's just, you know, we have to deal with that. Some kind of extra semicolon over there. All right, uh, so let's build this again. Just, uh, just run the application, perhaps, and just see what's going, what's going on. So there's a, there's a certain computation taking place, and so that that that's good news, right? So so we have some some basic um, parts uh, of this application working. We have this. Uh, 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 time slot, we have the work schedule, we have the work day, we have the weekend. Main epith is there. I'm just not wasting my time in adding an employee, uh, which should be providing all the information that we're hard coding right now. But nevertheless, compute pay is there. Okay, so that's, that's a starting point.